can I just tell you? It is such an honor for me to be here right now. And I was so excited that obviously like that you're here. I'm so happy and I've been such a fan of you. And I just, you're beautiful in person. Like everything you know, that I've I ever imagined. accept that from a beautiful woman. You know no, what I mean? Because I'm looking at your pearly white teeth, your beautiful skin, your long thank real you. hair. Thank you. I'm like, wow, you thick in all the right <laughs> places and everything. Go ahead, girl. I, listen, you know, for all of us, we've just seen you grow and do so much work, mm -hmm. not just on camera. And I think just as a woman to be able to see all the accomplishments in so many different genres is so and and different avenues of just media so amazing. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Of thank course. You so Do you much. ever get tired? All the time, especially now. You know, I'm on this this tour now doing this play called Married But Single. Yes. And I thought that I was getting into something that was going to be easy breezy. Right, yeah, you know, Married But a, Single. Yeah, I feel like we know, should all know Friday, this. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday shows, I'm good. <laughs> yeah. Girl, no. The grind with doing theater and doing press before theater and before you go into the city and it's like... I signed up for this, didn't I? But I love it. I, I really, I like it. And when you do something that you like, it doesn't feel so jobby to yes. you. You know what I mean? You feel like, you know, you can meet and greet people. And I love people. I love to talk. Can you tell? That's so, but that's so <laughs> you know, great. It's important too. Doing this for a while, you come across people. You're like, oh, I didn't, you know, it's not I think adding my, up anymore. I think my reality show helped me with that. Yeah. You know, the Lisa Ray, The Real McCoy. I think really when people saw that, they were like, Oh, she is human. Yes. Oh, she does cry. Oh, she does love. She is someone's mother. She is yes. someone's daughter. You know, when you allow people to come inside your personal life like reality TV has allowed us to do yeah. now. But now, now, it's a whole different animal. But when it I is. was doing it, it was something that w w uh, was rewarding, allowing people to know a little bit more about me than even I thought that they would yeah. just by being in my homes. Is that something you'd want to do again? I don't think that I can do it again with the reality show business now because I am not in the, um, the um, let me see what I'm trying to say. Uh, I'm not trying to compete with what is on TV in reality TV now. I refuse to. Yeah. You don't have to ever worry about it. I won't do that. I, um, I'm using my platform for a different level and a different purpose now. Yeah. And I, I say that with all due respect because the reality shows now is just a little TMI. Yeah. You know, it's a little too much for me. I don't I don't agree with the way that we're depicted yeah. or that we are showcasing ourselves and utilizing our celebrity to that degree. It to yeah. me it's like, what are you doing? Why are you doing it? Don't you know kids are watching? Don't you know your cousins are watching, yes. your younger youth and you know, so I I think that the insta Graham has yeah. made people want to be Insta famous oh, and gosh. it's just getting out of hand. Oh my gosh. It's, it's getting out of hand. It is. So, you know, being that you've been in the game and obviously you're a legend and you've done so much work, do you feel that the internet has, I guess, changed how things are and had Instagram existed during your time. Do a you... lot of people would be busted. <laughs> but remember when you wanted to find out stuff about your man? Yes. You go try to get his cold in the phone. Yes. Now, forget about it. Just it's wait until he just go walking down the street. And I just saw a guy in blue pants with a blue hat <laughs> yes. walking with a young lady. Yes. And you go, that wasn't me. I'm still in bed. Wait a minute. Yes. You know, it's just bananas now. You know what I mean? Yeah. I was coming through the airport and someone was like, uh, a couple of people, I just saw Lisa Ray through the airport. I was thinking, I didn't even let nobody know I was here yet. Yeah. You know, um, it takes the power and the control away from the person. The mystery. That's awful. <laughs> yeah, and we I, I feel like that's why we loved our celebrities and the legends that have come before us. The because mystery it, of There is it. a mystery, right? There's no more mystery anymore. I know everything that you're doing, it's like, oh, okay. Well. And now I have to compete with yes. the, the followers of a nobody. Yes. You know, yes. that the companies now are asking me, well, how many followers do you have? And it's like, why does that matter? I'm still me. Yeah. You know, but now I have to compete with this girl over here has a million follower followers and she does what? Yeah. You know, Lipstick so now I have tutorials. to explain myself <laughs> and, and give you my resume before you even listen to me. That's yeah. crazy. Do you feel like at this point you still are calling the shots or do you feel like you have to compromise for anything? Always compromise. Really? Because we're not in this life by ourselves. We are connected to each and every person. You know, and so therefore it's teamwork and I can't do it alone. You know, even with us being here in the studio and you yep. interviewing me, someone had to give me the mic. Yep. Someone had to do my makeup. Someone has to give you the questions. Yep. You know, someone has to make sure that they're running the camera. It takes a team, you know, and I respect that because you do what you do and I can't do what you do. Yeah. So I'm going to stay in my lane. But 
the flip side of that is, is don't try to tell me what I do or what you hired mm. me to do. Mm. You know, I'm hired to breathe life into words that's right. on the script, you know. At whatever level I do that, if you feel that all my characters are the same or that a little bit of you is in that character, that means I'm doing my job because you feel Believe that it. that character is so authentic and so real that you can't tell the difference between if I'm playing Lisa Ray or playing Keisha or yes. Diamond or Nisi or whoever. You yes. know what I mean? And I say thank you. You know what I mean? Yes. So I'm, I'm I, I, to answer your question, um... I'm still fighting. Yeah. You know, and I don't think that I ever really want to be done with that because if you stop fighting, then that means there's nothing to fight for. Mm. You know, um, I just don't want it to be so hard. Uh, you know, yeah. I want to work smarter instead of harder. Yeah. You know, I want to be able to employ people. And that's why I have went from just in front of the camera to behind the camera so I could be more creative. God, I love and you. I can just give opportunities to other people because I am ready to pass the torch. Yeah. I don't want to do it by myself. I don't want to be the only one. That's no fun. Yeah. I want to be able to say, come on, because yeah. what's a party by yourself? I mean, yeah. although I'm funny. Yeah. I'm very engaging. <laughs> You know what I mean? I laugh every day. Yeah. But it is a more of a hoot to be able to laugh with a car full of people or a room full of people. Absolutely. You know what I mean? It's like my jokes become funnier. Like I just on my way over here. <laughs> yeah. I was just, you know, <laughs> egging on somebody. Yeah. And he was like, Really? He put his headphones in, like, real. I said, Oh, you don't want to hear because I got an audience. Keep on laughing, everybody. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. What do you like to do the most? I mean, obviously, like you said, you're behind the cameras directing. You do mm -hmm. plays, movies. Yeah. I think it's important fashion. to do everything. Yeah. You know, and that's that's how you can find out if you like this or you don't want to touch that too much or you just want to pass this on to someone else or you want to do something. It's all in, you put everything in perspective when you get a chance to do a little bit of everything. What's that saying? Um, a master, uh, a jack of all trade yeah. and a master of none. I'm fine with that. Yeah. You know, I'm fine with that because I've done a little bit of everything. Absolutely. And I like to touch a little bit of everything, you know. Um, sprinkle my little, what, what E-40 said, give me yeah, sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle me. that. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I think... Which one do I really like the most? See, I'm, I'm a boss, you yeah, know, but I'm a boss I, I in whatever see, yes. I do. You know what I mean? Even if you hire me, it's like, wait a minute, I got an opinion, you know? <laughs> um, <laughs> but I think directing has been um, rewarding at this level. My acting definitely has gotten me here, of you course. know, so I can't discredit that. But now directing has been something that I can say I want to do again. What is it about directing? It's that power, yeah. you know, everyone is, is looking for you for the answers and you're bringing it to life in a whole different way right. than the actors, you know, because I have to capture it. And so I'm able to be more creative with angles and storylines and how I tell the story, opposed to just being a character and having one voice. Yeah. The director have the voice of the whole picture, Yeah. you know, it's and so I crazy. think with me yeah. being an actress as well, I'm able to pull out from my cast yes. what I need in a... um in a nurturing kind of way. Yes. I worked with uh, Miss Debbie Allen, mm -hmm. and she's a godmom to me, and I worked with her on my sitcom, All of Us. Yeah. And I was a fan at first. And when I found out she was the director, it was like, oh my God, I always wanted to be directed by her. <laughs> I'm gonna be so directable, you know what I yeah. mean? And she was so warm. And so I just was like, can you take me home with yes, you? Yes, take me. You know what I mean? Yes. Yeah, so I, I kind of adopted that, and, and I took that with me, and I, I think that's a good quality to have. Married but single, and that title alone for me just really great grabs you, right? Yeah. But it's, um, it's people that's been married, and sometimes they feel like they want to be single. And I'm sure that we've all been there, you yes. know? Even if you dream about, what if yes. I just, for the night, Yes. You know, and the people that has been married and have that seven year itch, you know, yeah. do you step out because it's only one night or the people that's single? <sighs> what do it take or what does it take to be able to stay committed and to help build someone as well? You know, so in this stage play, we have a lot of different scenarios, a lot of different couples that some are married, some is engaged, some has never had a man before. We give you a little bit of everything because when you walk away from a play, yes, it's the entertainment part of the play right. and the laughter. But in this play, we have a tearjerker moment. We have a real sign that says message, message here that you can really walk away with because it's like life imitating art. Mm. You know, being able to take a real subject and put it on this on this stage and be able to act it out. It's hilariously funny. We have Clifton Powell. We have Carl Payne. We have Chrisette Michelle that's, that's singing so awesome. like a songbird. We have newcomer <sighs> Lamaya Good, Terrell Fletcher. We have 
uh, Sam Logan. We have some people up there that is making this cast uh, a sellout. We've been yeah. selling out absolutely everywhere That's we've so been. That's so awesome. Yeah. That's so rewarding. It is. And it's something different about being able to connect yes. with that audience, something different than I can do on TV. Yeah. You know, when you get your ratings on TV, the Nielsen, uh, uh, yeah. you know, it's like you get 3 million, 15 million people or whatever. And you're like, okay, you don't really know those people. You can't really yes. touch them or hear them. Mm -hmm. When I go for curtain call, I get so emotional every oh time gosh. because I get these standing ovation and I get people talking back and going, go ahead, girl, you wearing that dress. Go ahead, Diamond. How you doing? <laughs> you know, and it's like, but I love it. When I go and I take pictures and I sign autographs afterwards, they have so much to say that's an ego uh, uh, raiser, you know yeah. what I mean? Stroking my ego that makes me say, you don't even have to be here. You didn't have to pay any you, money exactly. to pay a t buy a ticket to see me, but you did. So to me, this is the least I can do, and I love doing it. Thank is you. it hard for you at all to do the topics that you guys obviously cover during the play because it might be too real for you? Has there been a time you're like, you know what? That is so funny that you say that because when I first read the script, I didn't like it. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you why, and I'm going to be completely honest. My character, Sharon, she's involved with an up-and-coming R&B singer. Mm -hmm. And when I say up-and-coming, he hasn't made it yet. And she believes in him. She mm. supports him financially. Mm. She's been there. She's like, look, haven't I shown you how much that I believe in you? And you won't do the one thing that I want or that's going to make me happy, which is the commitment. I know mm. you love me, but how long am I going to allow you to buy the milk without buying the cow? Yes. You know? And so when I first read the script, I was like, she she's supporting him what? Financially. <laughs> yeah. And 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 how long she and he takes her where to Burger King yeah. and macaroni grill and where? Yeah. Yeah, no, I can't play her. She's dumb. Yeah. That's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> and, the, and the director said, Lisa Ray, no, you can play this character. This is a very funny stage play, and wait till you get it up on his feet. Trust me. Well, because Jacarius Johnson has done 16 plays with a track record like that, I said, I could kind of trust you a yes. little bit. <laughs> you know? And um, he said, we can tailor this to however you like it, but give it a chance. And because when you sit down and you talk business with someone, you got to cue into that business mind. And I, I have to say, I, I, I sniff that out like mm -hmm. I sniff out money. It's like yeah. <laughs> somebody has something in here that I can use yes. more than I need. You know yeah. what I mean? And so because his spirit was so, I, I mean, I, I guess it was so illuminating. Yeah. So I committed to the script before I even knew what it was about. Yeah. It wasn't until I read it weeks later when, after he wrote it. And I said, mm, okay, we're going to try this. And I will say this. The first day of rehearsal completely changed my mind. I was really? so glad I was on board. Yep. And I'm I'm glad even even city after city, night after night, finding a different rhythm yeah. of the play. Because when you're saying the same words week after week, it can be a little stale or get right. a little boring. But what joke worked yesterday may not work tomorrow mm -hmm. in DC or New York or Chicago or Atlanta. You know? So you have to be able to be instant. And you have to be present, yeah. you know. And I'm cracking up on the stage myself when somebody's doing something that it didn't do the day before. It's like, oh, my God, you yeah. are so crazy. <laughs> it's like, keep a straight face, keep a straight face, don't break character, yes. you know. <laughs> don't but it's, break it's, I know it's fun. But even when we do, the audience loves that. Because yes. I remember yes. one time on the stage, I forgot my line. Yeah. And he said to me, uh, well, I'm waiting for you to get it out. I said, well, hold on. I'm trying to get it out one minute, you know, like that. And the, <laughs> the audience was laughing. I said, you know what? I said, you know, I said, you know, you're not telling the truth because you're laughing. You know, yeah. you know? <laughs> the audience was just cracking up because we allowed that pull them in to get engaged. Like, is this part of the act or are they or at living or what? You know? Again, it was yes. fun. That's what we love. It's the, it's the realness behind it, the genuine moments that yeah. we get to see. Do you feel like that's why, I don't know, like for me, I feel like plays should get recognized more because it's such a one-on-one -on -one experience. Yeah. It's and it's not, different than the yeah. Broadway. Like, I don't think I'm cut out for Broadway. Like, mm -hmm. I don't want to ever do, like, such a long run of something because I do get bored quick. Right. You know, um, I don't like living out of a suitcase, out of a hotel, and, you know, out of... Really? No, no You're not such too a boss, long. I can see... Yeah. You know, because it's, it's, it's different, you know, traveling with so many people. You don't want to have a posse yeah. with you while you're doing a play, you know. Mm. You can only make so much money doing a play. 
you know? Got there's it. only so many seats in the theater. So when you think about it logistically and business-wise, because right. so many times we forget about the business side of show business, that when you think about that, you're like, I have to do this for the fun of it. I have to do this for the connection of it. I have to do this for the thespian in me. Yes. You know what I mean? And so when you keep that in mind, then pretty much everything else can just roll off your, your back. As a businesswoman, do you feel that maybe because you're so busy and you've been on this grind, that it affects your love life? Do you ever stop and think maybe like, that's what's going? I quit. You know, yeah. <laughs> that's what it is. Like, that's do you what feel, it is. Do you, I don't have anybody. I feel like so many women wow. get faced with because they're independent and they're strong. Mm -hmm. That there's so many men that are intimidated by it. Mm -hmm, definitely. And because I was a first lady and I was married to a president, yeah. a lot of men feel like, oh, my gosh, she was married to a president. I don't know what to give her. Yeah, like, I mean, how does someone, you know what I mean? Like, just hearing But that I'm not looking for anyone to fulfill his shoes. Yeah. Just fill them. Fill a shoe. You know, in your own <laughs> shoes. Yeah. You know? Um, I just want to be happy. Yeah. I want companionship like the next woman. I want a foundation of a friendship. I want happiness and joy. I want to laugh. I want to live life, you know. I don't want to grow old by myself, you know. I want to be able to know that someone cares about me when I look in their eyes. And here's the thing about the age that I am now that is so wonderful. The men that I date now mm. are done playing. Oh, my god! I don't want you playing with me. I I'm, love it. I'm not a cougar. Yeah. You know what I mean? So the youngness that's in you, you can have it. Yes. Keep it. Grow. Mature. Do what you do. Do what you do. But I really want someone that's over all of that, that have been through life, that knows the games, the ups and downs. And so when we come together, we're evenly yoked. We have some success under our belt. We have some life up under our, our belt. We've raised our kids, whatever, because yeah. nothing else is coming out of here. <laughs> you know, I'm done. Yes. And be able to live the rest of your life. Yeah. You know? Do you want to date someone in the industry? Or would you prefer not? There's not anyone left yeah. in the industry <laughs> that's available to yes. date. You know, trust, I went through that roster yeah. already. Yes, I um, love you. <laughs> I did. I'm like, where's my husband coming from, Lord? Yeah. Where does he come from? You hear me? Yeah. You hear me? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like, where? I don't know. And so, you know what? I don't think that I can even chisel him out or yeah. draw him or anything. I'm really just waiting on God to make his move and tell me when it's time. Maybe he's at Burger King. Not unless he owns a franchise. Is oh, there's it's plural. Z. Oh, and then when it's what if he has sign, goals <laughs> of wanting to own it? Maybe he owns one. We'll work on it. Okay, nope, got it. I have a, a lot of girlfriends that are beautiful, gorgeous women that are successful too that I would introduce him to. That's so nice. Yeah. <laughs> that's, the, that's, that's so thoughtful. I love it. <laughs> All right, let's talk about fashion and everything else, because I know we're focused on the play. Mm -hmm. What else are you working on? Because I, I know that can't be the only thing yeah. on your plate right now. Actually, my directorial debut was just aired on TV One nice. a couple of months ago. And we just got nominated for an award in Nigeria. So it's going to play over there. So not only am I getting recognition here as a new director, I am over there as well. So that's a that's, great thing. That's yeah. a blessing. And I have a book that's coming out. I'm starting to write that with my ghostwriter next month. Nice. Um, because it's not until I do things like this and do interviews that I realize just how much I've done, just how much yes. I have to say, and just how much I can use my story to help other people. You know? So what's the book going to be about? Um... I know me. maybe about you. Okay. <laughs> me. Um, it's going to be about my experience. When I thought that only just coming from the south side of Chicago, making it in Hollywood was just it, then I became the only African-American actress that became a first lady. And it was like, wow. And that life was a whole different life. Then to have my fairy tale turn nightmare yeah. and to come back to the States and really not know what my place was. Was I still a sex symbol? Did I still have it? Do I go back to that? Do I reinvent myself? Who am I? Where do I go? How did I get here? How do I get out? All of those questions are life questions that each and every one of us will go through. You may not be a first lady. You right. may not be a princess, but you're going to be the head of something. Yes. And you're going to have to go through that. And you have to know how to handle it. I'm telling you, if I would have had some older women around me, some divas, some mentors around me besides my mother, to be able to say to me, hothead, just mm. cool down, listen, make your plan, and figure out what you want. Compromise and understand that it's not all about pointing the finger. Be still for a minute, listen and pray. If I would have had someone to get me, I don't know if I would still be married now, but I know that I would have given it more of a chance than I would have back then. 
Really? Absolutely. Gosh, that was deep. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. <sighs> and it, and it, because of that, it makes me um, um, step in a whole different dimension of my life now. Faith. Just stepping out on faith. Just waiting because this too shall pass. Like, I know that. You know that you don't cry over the same thing that you cried about last yes. month. You know why? Because you've either fixed that right. and you're on to another different situation. Because it's life. When you know that, just be still. This too mm. shall pass. How hard was that for you to grasp? And I you, think it, that you still grasp yes. it every day, you know. <laughs> but um, it was hard because it was a, a, a ego. I don't want to say it wasn't a booster. It was a... a uh, what is it, a stab, you know, if you will, because, you know, the image and the perception of who you are makes you, you know, you look on social media, it's like, she's this, she's doing that, and you're like, I want to cry right now. They don't <laughs> even know, you know. And when you walk out of your house, how you have to to kind of um, build yourself up even when someone else is tearing you down, you know. They don't really understand what that's doing to you, your ego, your heart, your spirit, or anything. So it could be malicious, it can be the haters out there. So how yeah. do you balance that, you know? Because I do want to know what they're saying about me, bad or good or the ugly. You know, it can help me um, target where I want to go and how I want to change and how I want people to look at me, you know? Right. And it's us that get a chance to, to let you know how we feel because I let you know what I want you to know when I do an interview. But yes. that reality TV show did wonders for me because, really, I gained a different fan base that didn't know who Lisa Ray was right. until that show aired. And it was like, wow, I had no idea. And I almost was saying the same thing, like, wow, I had no, no idea. No idea, <laughs> exactly. I, yeah. Like the love between my daughter and I, that mother love. Yeah. I get so many parents to stop me and go, do you still kiss your daughter like that? And I'm like, all okay. the time. I love it. All the time. And here's the thing. You have to teach your kid how to love and how to receive love. Because if they don't get it at home, uh, where are they getting it from? Reality TV? Oh, God, no. <laughs> okay? Please, right. No. You know Please. what I mean? So you get, they have to see that in the home. Yeah. And I, I, my baby is just that. She is my baby, and she's my love. Yeah. And she knows that I love her. So I want her to know what that type of love feels like. So when she gets it somewhere else, it's familiar. She's not shocked. Like, what is this? And, in, and she'll know if it's genuine. Exactly. And I think I, I love that point, to love yeah. and to understand how to receive it. When you were playing Diamond, because mm -hmm. I loved the Players Club, and mm -hmm. do, I love the fact that you don't shy away from that role. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're not like, yeah. oh, my gosh, don't bring it up. And you, you don't. Oh, girl, I'm forever Diamond. Forever. People, I was working out the other day. <laughs> well, not the other day, but yeah. a couple of months ago. And, <laughs> and I'm, I'm hiking. Yes. And these guys turn and they go, you still look good, Diamond. Yeah. And I was thinking, thank you. I think. Yes. Okay, I get it. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I love that, though, because there's so many people so many times. They're like, don't even don't. Yeah. But it's like for you to be able to embrace your fans and to allow us to grow with you. Mm -hmm, it, mm -hmm. I think that's what's so exciting about seeing where you're going to go from this point. I'm the ultimate stripper. Yes. I am diamond. <laughs> I go into strip clubs. I get all my lap dances for free. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you have a signature look. And I thought it would like at first I was like maybe it's just like an act like no you really wear all white like I'm looking at you right now I know I know it's like tell you more huh I you know it's not a religious thing um, it wasn't oh, a did trend people think that? Mm -hmm. oh you know um, just, it's not a trend that I started that, you know to try to, to it's hard to know. wear all white it means you're but you know what in great shape not for me because really? I wear white everywhere camping to the beach. No. Um, out in the <laughs> forest, whatever it is, I'm not the kind of person that wears white and go, ah, don't touch me, and oh, 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 I can't eat barbecue or spaghetti. Yeah. None of that. I do absolutely everything in my white. And it's been 13 years, so, I, hey, this is it, you know? Even, like, at home. At home all my white. My pajamas are white. My T-shirts are white. <laughs> my underwear are nude <laughs> and white, you know? <laughs> yes. yes, this, this is so... Yeah. But, you know, I think people, other people want me to come out of white more so than I do. And I think sometimes I adapt their energy and I'll go and I'll buy something. Hella expensive, you know, yeah. just so I can know I'm, I'm going to wear this. Yeah, Girl is sitting in there with uh, the other <laughs> the little cheap stuff I'm wearing too. <laughs> I'm not wearing, you know. So I, I sometimes I do come out of, of, of white yeah. as a shocker or something, you know, but I don't really feel great in it. Got it. You know, when I'm acting, I am, a, you know, actress for hire, and then I can wear any color you want me to, yeah. you know, because I'm a character. Yeah. But Lisa Ray, I prefer white. 
It makes me feel good. Um, it's not a forgiving color like black. Listen, That's true. It's hard. Yes, you know. But this is it. This is my color of choice. You've done <laughs> everything. What What's left for Lisa Ray at this point? Uh, fashion line. Hmm. An all white fashion line. Jean line. Jean? Yeah, because you know what? Here, Here's my thing. I'm a jean girl because I wear white. And so even though these are jeans, they look like just regular pants. Yes, you know, they do. So we can pair it up with a heel and a jacket and still hit it at nighttime, take that off and wear a little tank top underneath and then have it at, in, in the daytime, you know, if you stay out all night, you know. Yeah, of me. course. Okay, cool. You know, <laughs> just you know. me. It was just me, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but I think jeans can be dressed up or dressed down. And I like the fit of jeans, especially now with our body shapes. We yes. have small waists and kadonka donks now. Yes. You know what I mean? So you need a little stretch in there. And I don't need to bend down and show you all my business in the back. Exactly. Meaning crack heels <laughs> kind of thing. So I, I'm into the fit of a jean. <sighs> You know what I mean? And the style of it. And because I only wear white, I struggle to look different. Yes. So I want to have a, a, a creativity with my, my my wardrobe. You know, maybe a cuff where it's a color under the cuff. Maybe like the piping. Maybe a different color piping. Maybe high-waisted, low-waisted, whatever. You know what I mean? Just something different. Flare legs, slim, jeg jeggings, just all kind of stuff that I can kind of get in my closet and make it, you know, easy and accessible for me to look cute all the time. I don't know how you have, like, the energy to just keep it's called it. money, 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 <laughs> money. But you have money. Money. Oh, more, more, more <laughs> money. <laughs> More Lisa Ray, I, you <laughs> no, you know, I think differently now because, you know, the, let's just be honest. When people see you on TV, they think, uh oh, she's made it. She's rich. That's not necessarily true. You know, I still have bills. I have my lifestyle. I'm taking care of my family. So that patch of money that came with that job paid for that part of my life. This patch has to put away money for retirement mm -hmm. and for your daughter. This part is for vacations and whatever. You know what I mean? So now I think of business different. I think of my money differently, you know, and I'm thinking of longevity now, you know? Mm -hmm. And so I don't do things the same way that I did when I was, you know, back in my 20s and 30s and 40s. Well, I, <laughs> that was, yeah. I'm 40, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, re I don't know if you remember, what did you do with your paycheck from Players Club? Do you remember buying something just huge or your first paycheck? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I bought a house. That's nice I've always been great with money because my father is a biz was a businessman. Oh, and so I knew that, you know, uh, renting yeah. was not ideal for me, you yeah. know, because that was just my plan when I first got to L.A., you know. Yeah. Um, but I wanted to buy a house. And I was raised in, you know, the business already. So none of it was new to me. Yeah. You know, I wasn't like blown away like, oh, my God, I'm meeting so and so. And I'm I'm at this person's house. It That wasn't that for me. It was what am I going to get for me and my family? Yeah. You know, how do I have security? Yeah. And so for me to be able to justify why I'm paying this amount of money for rent and it's not mine. It was like, you know, I need to own something. I like it. And so that mentality allowed me to be able to you know, take those checks and be able to write my check and say, oh, here you go, give me the keys. This is mine, thank yeah. you, you know? <laughs> and I can look at my house and I can say, I did this, you know, with my hard earned money. And that's an example for my daughter as well. Do you ever get concerned because you're so outspoken? Was that ever in the back of your mind? Like, you know, you're so blunt and honest. Like even when we talk, when you had talked about Stacey Dash and the, the firing and the show and were people ever like, no, don't say that. Oh, yeah. Just just be sweet and mm -hmm. play the part. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, there is a such thing as being politically correct, right. you know, and being tasteful. And I've always said sometime that I lack tact, yeah. you know. Um, but again, that comes with staying, standing still and thinking because you don't want to be instant and say something that you may regret or you may get fired over or it just wasn't that big. It was just big right now, but yeah. not for later. Or you made it bigger than what it really was. You know yeah. what I mean? So take a moment and just be still. Um, but in the back of my mind, I was almost like, I just don't know if I'm going to be able to keep this <laughs> under my hat. This is hurting me inside. I got to let it out, you know. And and I was politically correct when I was yeah. doing single ladies with the whole Stacey Dash thing. Yeah. You know, I, I was like, but see, like you say, I'm from the hip. Mm -hmm. So when I would get interviewed about it, I would just go, yeah. <laughs> yes. And you could tell all over my face that it was like, next question. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. Because I couldn't hardly muster up the energy just to tell me, to tell the the world what they wanted me to say. It was right. like, no, nah, y'all not coming yes. and protecting me because my reputation precedes me. It's Lisa Ray whooped her. Lisa Ray smacked her. Yeah. Lisa Ray grabbed her hair. Lisa Ray got her fired. And it was like, is anybody going to say that this wasn't Lisa Ray's fault besides Lisa Ray? None of y'all? Yeah.
Oh, okay. okay. Oh, I okay. got it. Got, got it. it. Right. You know what I mean? So yep. it's like, pow, here you yep. go. Take that, take that. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but, you know, you have to have tech in this business. Yeah. You know, you don't want to just blurt out, you know, whatever that's on your mind, you know. So I've just learned how to hold and when to fold. I wanted to talk to you about being in Tupac's video, Toss It Up. Mm. For me, such a Pac fan, and, you know, his mother just passing away, his birthday's coming up. How was that experience for you? It was groundbreaking yeah. because I had just came out to L.A., and I wanted to do music videos because I knew that the directors would one day be directors of movies. So mm. I had a plan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the director of Tupac's very last video was Lionel Martin, which directed How to Be a Player. So I went to audition for that to get an audition for the movie. Got it, it worked, too. However, I had seen uh, Tupac around L.A. and Suge, so yeah. they knew me. So when I got cast for the video, I wasn't the only one. Yeah. The leading girl that was with Tupac, yeah. I don't know what happened, but I remember him saying, I want somebody fine. I want somebody to look good like, like her. <laughs> and I turned around like, a, a commercial. Moi? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Lisa Ray. And he, yes. said, he said, yes. So I got a chance to be in the video more than the other girls. So I had a, I had scenes with him yes. and my own scenes. And honey, when I tell you I was going to be very directable, it was like, come in, baby. <laughs> I, I like the way you're tearing it down. Uh oh, And I was doing my thing because yeah. I wanted to be seen. You know, that's why you do videos. And that was the very last video that Tupac did. The very next day, he got shot and killed in Vegas. So it became a world premiere for his video. How did you feel? Like, were you just like, I was just with him? Was it unbelievable? Because yeah. he was the reason why I was in Vegas. He said, hey, we all going to go to Vegas. So, and I said, well, I'm, I'm actually going with my girlfriend. He said, come, I'll get you some tickets. I did, you know, we're going to hang out there. I was like, okay, fine. I went upstairs to change my shoes and came downstairs, and it was chaos everywhere. And I'm going, what happened? What happened? And they said, Tupac just got shot. And I was thinking, no, no, you know, and as I started turning on my, you know, people was calling me and turning on the TV and I saw it and I was like, it was unreal. It was like, I just, it, that was my introduction to like Hollywood. Like, like you that's can be crazy. here today and gone tomorrow. That's crazy. Yeah. That's a, that's a crazy feeling right there. Yeah. Now later on, I know you also got involved in music mm -hmm. and people are like, why is she making music? And I was saying the same thing. No. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I think I just did it because I could at the time. Absolutely. And I think you're talking about the song that I did yeah, with Benzino. Benzino. Yes. Um, and we did the Apollo with that, so everybody else can kiss my. Yes. You know. Uh, <laughs> but when they asked me to do the Apollo, I was thinking, Yes. What? And he said, I can't do it without you. And I was like, What? And he said, You gonna? I was like, What? No. <laughs> so I was on. I was thinking, Is this gonna be live, live? Yeah. Like for real? I was like, What if I forget the lyrics? Yeah. What? He's like, You gonna do fun? I think that was the first time that I was really out of my element. And really, really nervous. Yeah. You know, it was like, how do you save face when you're performing? Like, I'm used to doing TV. So if I mess up, it's like, okay, take two. What's the line? Yeah. Okay, fine. <laughs> you know, but this was like, oh, and then, you know, you you know, you hear, you see the Apollo, the people in the front row. It's like, ah. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> I didn't want that. You know yeah. what I mean? But I looked good. I remembered the did. lyrics. And I did my thing. Yeah. And I don't think I'll want to go back there again. Yeah. <laughs>